in that way people of manipur had foreign rule only for a short period of 53 years 1891 to 1944 at least a part of manipur near more and its adjacent area i'm sure you have seen the ina memorial there in the contemporary period people of manipur particularly three olympic heroes they have met all of us proud i personally remember how excited i was and how proud i felt when maricom said that yes i will accept the challenge similar to two other other they have also shown exemplary courage discipline which brought success to them as i mentioned you have contributed richly to indian culture your dance your way of life your simplicity your hospitality have met dear to all indians and everyone feel kin to the people brothers and sisters of manipur manipur dance has its own rhythm poet ravindranath tagore all of you are fully aware of the stories of chitrangada one of his beautiful ballet it is based on the story of princess of manipur and the love affair between arjuna and princess chitrangada which is an eminent part of mahabharat you have come as part of the shad bhavna program i congratulate assam rifle for taking this initiative it is well needed because you live in far flung areas you do not know how changes are taking place in this vast country which is your country your brothers and sisters in other parts how they are doing therefore sometimes a sense of alienation develops amongst the mind and it causes some problem exercise like this to to different parts of the country give you an opportunity to make an assessment of yourself not by reading in books not by listening from others but by seeing yourself what a great change is taking place to have the sense of pride when you feel that you are part of a great nation which despite its problems despite difficulties are striving to take its rightful place in the committee of nation as an old man i have great faith in the young mind young boys and girls who do not carry any baggage who have very clear and wide vision who knows what they are expected to do for the betterment of their society betterment of their country therefore the interaction 
of these young minds belonging to different parts of the country are absolutely necessary. I welcome you. Welcome you to the Rashtrapati Bhavan, which is also a witness of many historic changes in the contemporary period, particularly in the later phases of our freedom struggle. This building as such was constructed over a period of 15 to 20 years, beginning from the shift of capital to Delhi in 1911. And this house was occupied first by the then British Governor General and Viceroy, Lord Arwin, in 1931. Between 1931 to 37, 47, in these 16 years, several British governor generals ruled India from this building. Many important meetings with the leaders of the freedom struggle, including Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Patel, Baldev Singh, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Liyakat Ali, Dr. Ambedkar, and many others whose names you read in the history. They met, consulted, discussed, sorted out issues. In these rooms, in this building, where the Governor Generals used to live, after independence, the first Indian Governor General, Rajagopal Achari, also occupied this house from 48 to 25th January 1950. And thereafter, it was converted into the presidential house because it became independent and independent republic on 26th January 1950. Country became independent on 15th August 1947, country became republic on 26th January 1950. Since then, 13 presidents have occupied this house. I am glad to welcome you to this house, to Delhi, to your journey, and I welcome your participation in this Shadbhavna Yatra. I am confident all of you will enrich yourselves by undertaking this journey. Wish you all success and very bright future. Thank you, young students.